Thanks everybody for uh, thanks everybody for being here tonight. Um, I'm very excited about uh, the 33rd session of the uh, Calamity Orchestra stream, and today we're going to be uh, participating in Drone Day, which is a 24-hour uh, a global celebration of drone tone and soundscapes that a dear friend and former bandmate of mine, Craig Chen, told me about and encouraged me to to uh, participate in. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, I'm opening this up uh, with a, cl with a uh, composition here called Duo for Violin and Cello Part One um, by a composer named Giacinto Chelsea. And uh, it's, uh, Chelsea's work was inspirational to me before I heard it. And now that I have heard it, it's even more so. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Um, so uh, I was, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of my life, um, especially over the past year or so, um, features a lot of kind of being in the right place at the right time, or hearing something at the right time, or being lucky, or being being serendipitous. And uh, an incident of that happened just yesterday um, when I was uh, I was doing some some research on something, and I saw um, I saw a search result. Um, to, to something that said uh, punks, goths, and mods on Irish TV in 1983. And uh, this is what I found. There are various types of gangs operating in Ireland at the moment in all our major cities. They are punks, mods, rockers, teds, greasers, futuristics, <laughs> new romantics, blitz kids, skinheads, rudy skinheads, boot boys, hell's angels, bikers, and scab boys. And we have some representatives of various gangs on the program tonight, starting with closest to me, a gentleman called Donica McDonough, who is 20 years of age. He's unemployed. He's been a punk for six years. He is from Crumlin, and he is one of 11 children. Beside him, we have Siobhan Corrigan, who's 19. She's been a punk for four years, and she's a sales assistant. She's from Drimna, the eldest of four children. Next, we have John Fiddler, who is 20. And he's a first-year student of fashion and textiles at the National College of Art and Design. He's from Kalini, the eldest of two children. It says here he's been dressing strangely for five years. <laughs> Jared Quinn finally is 20. He is a mod. He's been a mod for three years. He's unemployed. He's from Fatima Mansions, and there are 16 children in his family. Let us talk to them a while about the sort of things that many people would, strain, would think strange and what they do. For example, Donica. Uh, the philosophy... So, uh... So the amazing thing about this interview, um, and it's, again, it's 1983. The amazing thing about that interview is the interviewer asks just the most painful questions um, of, these, uh, of these young people, um, you know, playing to every stereotype. And, and the young people on the show are just like, they're so nice and they're so calm and they're so genuine and sincere and it really makes uh it makes the interviewer look actually quite bad um and uh i thought um i thought maybe i i would use uh that as inspiration for what to do today so i've conceived of a i've conceived of a project with uh three pieces um there were four kids on the show there was uh the punk the goth the iconoclast and the mod and frankly, the mod was really boring. Um, so I'm, I'm going to ignore the mod. And uh, we're going to do, I want to do a piece for the, uh, for the punk kid, a piece for the goth girl, and a piece for the comic class. And we're going to start tonight um, with, uh, with the goth. Um, but of course, this is uh, also drone day. So uh, we're going to have to, uh, of course, break out some interesting scents and make some interesting noises. This is, uh, this is not going to be a normal kind of song. This is going to be um, a soundscape. This is going to be uh, an exploration, of, uh, an exploration of, of sound and tone and how we can use them to tell a story. So I do have a couple of kind of interesting scents uh, lined up. And I have a little bit of a project here set up for us, a track for the Stargazer and a track for the Zero Ghost. And I will talk about them more soon. Um, but first, uh, let's, let's start by 
adding some kind of rhythm track. Um, let's, uh, let's go this way. Um, I just want some kind of loop to provide a little bit of rhythmic foundation for us. And I'm just going to grab a loop. I'm not going to, I'm not going to program anything and, uh, we'll just go to our, uh, our loops here and look for something. Oh, we want, uh, percussion. All right. So here we have a bunch of percussion samples and we're, I'm just going to find the, find one that sounds interesting and go with that. Let's see. These are, And don't worry, I will affect them. This is not what we're going to be hearing. simple because we're going to mess with it. That sounds about like what I'm looking for. Okay. Let me make an audio track for this. call that percussion loop one and if you have seen me before you know I have to color code everything keep everything straight okay so I'm gonna set a cycle region on this and we're gonna get it sounding um, the way we want it to sound I want it to be kind of distant and I want some kind of ghost rhythm on it too so uh, First thing we'll do is we'll put it in space with Space Designer. And I had it in mind to, uh, to do a convolution reverb. And uh, a convolution reverb is a mathematical, it's a reverb made uh, from a mathematical model of what a space sounds like. And uh, I have made my own convolution reverb based on, uh, for example, the fireworks. That, uh, that were going off all last year this time, every night, 10 to 2. Um, so listen to how that changes the rhythm. See, it adds some... Uh, and that's uh, the rhythm that the fireworks... Uh, the rhythm of the fireworks going off um, that at night last year. So that's good. really like to have uh, modulation on my, uh, on my percussion tracks. Now we're just going to repeat this for a while and uh, I think we're going to give ourselves about oops I think uh, 90 
six measures, which should be about a little over three minutes long. Oops. Yep, about 309, and we'll make that an even 96 measures. There we go. Let's, uh, let's start adding some base layers. Um, so uh, I have an interesting synthesizer here called a, uh, a Stargazer. Um, it's a modular synthesizer, uh, not a modular, it's an analog synthesizer. And uh, only 200 of them were made um, in this color, in this configuration um, by just a couple of friends um, in the Pacific Northwest somewhere. And uh, this is called a drone synth. You don't, um, it doesn't take any input. You can't play a note on it exactly. You, you don't trigger it using a keyboard. You simply turn it on and it makes sound. Um, so, uh, that's what it sounds like right now. Let me, uh, I can get you a better view of that. And uh, it's just, it's so fun because you just, you just turn knobs and you make it sound like whatever you want. So I want to find a good uh, kind of bass drone sound for us. And then we're going to, um, we're going to do some knob, knob, uh, knob twiddling as the uh, performance. Synth track real quick and just get a get a note in here. No, not a drum synth. Okay, I think. Uh, I think we're gonna do A for this song. So let me uh, tune this. Thank you. 
Well, that was certainly something. Um, so that's our we have kind of foundation here now, right? Have some stuff going on. And uh, none of it is very structured. We just, uh, we just have tones right now. So let's, uh, let's start adding some structure. And the way we're going to add structure is we're going to use samples. So we're at 120 beats per minute and we're at um, 96 measures um, and that works out to about 3 minutes and 12 seconds. So um, with the structure we have, every 16 measures we should do something new. So uh, I have prepared some samples and uh, I am simply going to drag some samples in here and we're going to use them to uh, to structure our song here. So here, here's my first sample. The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? And I think uh, you can see where this is going to go. Let's put that gentleman uh, in a room. The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? Sounds like he's on the philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what it's, what's it about? The philosophy of being Okay, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna set up a, a bus stand because we're gonna have lots of these uh, samples, and I want them all to be in the uh, in the same sound like they're all in the same space. So we're gonna go to bus five, and I'm gonna open up a mixer here, and here's bus five, and here we're gonna put in space designer stereo, and we're gonna go with that patch that we just put in there, which was a small space room. Uh, heart studio okay and when you're on an ox you want wet to be 100 percent so you're being punk what's it, what's it about the philosophy of being punk what's it, what's it about the philosophy of being punk what's it, what's it about the philosophy of being punk what's it, what's it about the philosophy of being punk what's it, what's it about the philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? And now on eight, the philosophy of being punk. What's it? What's it about? against the old system. The system that we are born into and we're supposed to live by.
rebellion against the old system. The system that we were born into and we're supposed to live by. Everyone around us apart from ourselves. Like um, anyone that tries to dictate us. We rebel against our dictation. I think I'm missing an audio file, um, which is uh, interesting. So we're gonna do some. Um, we need to do something about that real quick. Oops. Um, I put together these samples, but it looks like I lost one of them. So let me find this real quick. So y'all gotta bear with me, I'm sorry. I fucked up one of my samples. Missing part of the answer. In our appearance. It's a rebellion against the old system. System that we are born into and we're supposed to live by but we don't agree with the today's system so we rebel against it that's the part that i want it's a rebellion oops it's a rebellion against the old system system that we are born into and we're supposed to live by but we don't agree with the today's system, so we rebel against it. That's what I want. In our appearance. So we rebel against it. Thanks for bearing with me there. I don't know how that sample got messed up, but uh, here we go. Let's put that in there. Okay. So what do we have? So it's a rebellion against the old system. The system that we are born into and we're supposed to live by. But we don't agree with the today's system, so we rebel against it. against okay so these can go and I want this to come in on oops coming on it all right how's this sounding oh and uh, we're gonna put the host on this track and we're gonna put the punk on that track and I'm gonna pin them And the other thing I'm not, well, that's, that's right. The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? It's a rebellion against the old system. The system that we are born into and we're supposed to live by. But we don't agree with the today's system, so we rebel against it. Philosophy of I'm gonna start here because I want a little bit of an intro. The philosophy of being punk. What's it, what's it about? It's a rebellion against the old system. The system that we are born into and we're supposed to live by. But 
We don't agree with the today's system, so we go back to it. And then I want something big to happen right here. I want a big sound. So I think what we're going to end up doing is um, bring in um, some more atonal sand, maybe. Let's uh, let's add a let's add a layer, and um, I'm going to reach for one of my favorite um, one of my favorite sounds to play with in context like this, and that is that uh metallic wine that uh, I sampled from Next Girlfriend. I love that sound. Okay, and everything we're doing is gonna be on an A. So we're gonna, I think we'll start it here. I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna record it and see what happens. The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? We are then against the old system, the system that we are born into and we're supposed to live by. But we don't agree with the today's system, so we are then against it. against the old system, 
system that we are born into and we're supposed to live by. But we don't agree with today's system, so we live out of it. So I'm going to add a marker right here because I want something new to happen there. So let's configure our track header real quick. Okay. I don't really know what, uh, naming doesn't matter but i want something big to happen in part two and i think maybe the big thing that's going to happen in part two is the introduction of a new instrument um and uh that is likely going to be a guitar um but i also want to bring in new samples let's see Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to there. Okay, so the big change is going to happen here. Oops. The philosophy of being punk. What's it, what's it about? against the old system, the system that we were born into and we were supposed to live by. But we don't agree with the, today's system, so we live out of it. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to drop in our second sample. So the host asks another really painful question. Are you into drugs? Are you into drugs? The philosophy of being punk. What's it, what's it about? We rebel against the old system. The system that we were born into and we were supposed to live by. But we don't agree with today's system, so we rebel against it.
Okay, so with each of these questions, every uh, every six, every uh, every so every uh, sixteen measures, I want to do something new, and I want to bring in a new instrument. I want to kind of build over time in that way. Um, we're gonna take a short five minute break. Um, we're gonna do another video clip from uh, our friend, the television television presenter from nineteen eighty three on Irish TV. Let's see what else he had to say. All right, now Siobhan Carter, first year student of fashion and textiles, um, National what about College of Art and Design from Kalani, two react? children in your family. Well, um, like um, in the beginning, what, what, like, what, what, what do you consider oh, no, yourself you know? to be, John? And then, um, uh, well, like, they start with, like, a f uh, um, phase I grow I out of. I myself in any category. So, like, given this three I'm months or four months, you know. Quite a normal yeah. person, really. Like, I've seen it's gone on so long. Like, they realised that... But, I mean, under the various categories that we have, of punks, mods, rockers, Ted's, breezes, futuristics, new romantics, what would you be more inclined I'm doing what I enjoy. Well, I wouldn't be inclined to and, any uh, of them, but um, just like, uh, the last the five years, whatever's gone on, the last way, five like, years, that's know, what's influenced yes, me. Yes, you're the eldest of four, like, and, music and, and what's the reaction of your brothers and sisters yes, to you? that's what I am. Now, you're, you're, you're obviously wearing uh, eye makeup like and eye shadow and so on. <laughs> like like and, what kind of... Um, what is that in your nose? ...situation you're in? Because, like, if naturally you're being nice to me, so here's Why particularly do you wear makeup? They're going to be, oh, great, yeah, great. Well, these bright lights, you know, show up spots and pimples if you didn't wear it. But do you wear the makeup during the day? Well, it depends. I mean, when you get up in the morning, it depends. What well, I like the dress for a start. A bit of Many foundation. Of your, will do you're you being for different. Work. Like, you're not just. <laughs> well, I mean, if you've ever gone into Dublin the during crowd, the day, you come like, out, you know, your face is just filled and, uh, with all the yeah. black bits over it and everything, you know. I feel but quite you can just wipe it all off if you've got makeup on. Yes. And, your and what about as fresh were, were you? If you were, yeah, if what about your parents' reaction to you in in Kalani, John? What was? I don't know what in Kalani's got to do with it, but yes, um, the, well. They thought it was a phase I was going through, and so did I. <laughs> something happened, so it's not a phase. <laughs> but uh, I'm still growing, so I'm only young. So, well, I mean, do you live at home? I do, yeah. Yes, and and and, and what do your I mean, do your parents ever discuss this? Do you think they're upset about it, or do they? No, find they it know odd? what I'm like. I mean, my hair is well. I mean, that's just my hair, you know. They know what kind of a person I am. Yes. That's what matters. And and do, do you think they worry about uh, uh, neighbours and other Oh, yeah, they do, of course. Do they? But, I mean, that's the neighbours' fault for sort of making them worry in the first place. Yes. Do, do you have to work Do you have to work hard to get your hair like that, John? Or, or Well, it depends what kind of a hurry I'm in. Like, I've had time to do it for tonight. Of course, I've done it specially for you. No, I wouldn't worry. <laughs> Various types of gangs operating in Ireland. Well, I have no idea what happened there. I don't know why uh, the videos were fucked up. Sorry about that. All right, I guess we're back to the music. Um, so uh, I want to introduce a new instrument um, for this third question. So at this point right here. <laughs> So we're gonna throw a gain plugin on here and take that down. Are you into violence? Are you into violence?
Are you into violence? Are you into violence? Keyboard cam is going to be given. I'm only playing a single note, but we'll see. This instrument's not going to come in for a while. Let me. Uh, here we go. Radio. Are you into violence? I think that's nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop all the drop all the samples in um, because that's giving us our structure. So uh, bring in the next one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 
I'm going to chart here. And we'll get to our next question from the commenter. From the host. Okay, and let's add a marker here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's where the next marker is going to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mark goes here. For question, oops. For question six. All right. So we have question four. Do you have trouble with police? We've nowhere to go, so we gently end up standing around the place. They find us a trash. So the police gently come along and move you along. Do you have trouble with police? We've nowhere to go, so we gently end up standing around the place. But the police gently come around and move you around. The point is a trash. Sometimes it gets complicated. six years, how, how long more do you think you can go on being a punk? Till death. <laughs> See how that goes? Isn't that lovely? That is lovely. Okay, y'all, there's a thing we do on the show. Um, when we get to about a halfway, part, halfway point, we want to listen to everything we've done all the way through. We reach for a uh, a golden cream filled snack cake. Um, we have our Twinkie break, and uh, we listen to uh, to our work in progress. So that's what we're gonna do now. And I'm gonna turn the microphone off because y'all do not want to hear me crunching on our Twinkie. They don't crunch. What are they? What am I talking about? I don't know. All right, let's give a listen to what we have so far. The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? It's a rebellion against the old system. The system that we were born into and we were supposed to live by. But we don't agree with the, today's system, so we rebel against it.
Are you into drugs? Six years, how, how long more do you think you can go on being a punk? Till death. I do like that. I think uh, I think that kind of works. It looks like we failed to record um, one of our tracks here, so we're going to have to go back and do that. And I think it's going to come in right here. Yeah, I don't know how we missed recording that, but here we go. Sometimes it gets complicated.
What do you think about some guitar? What do you think about guitar? Let's, uh, I'm thinking some Ebo would be really nice in this thing. And uh, we're again confining ourselves to a single note, that A. So bringing up a new guitar track here and We'll give it our regular guitar treatment. And uh, so the guitar we're using tonight, as usual, is the St. Vincent Special Edition Music Man. And we're gonna be using our uh, our Ebo, electronic, electromagnetic pick. And we have so many cables, we're tangled up them. There's our A. Okay, let's see what happens. The philosophy of being what's it, what's it about? So you know, against the old system, the system that we were born into and we were supposed to be born. But we don't agree with today's system, so we were better against it. I just realized what I could be doing. I could be bending the strings, so we're going to start over. Okay. The philosophy of being punk. What's it, what's it about? Against and I'm just kind of sneaking up on the tone. By keeping the go, by moving it back and forth, toward and away from the pickup. Just right here, my fingers point here. And now I'm going to bend the strings with my left hand. I need to drop that string.
I think that was pretty nice. Um, we're gonna actually do a uh, a complete second track um, with uh, also with the guitar, also with the ebo. We're gonna grab an octave. Let me find it. Obviously, we're not uh, we're not doing mixing tonight, so things are kind of muddy and kind of competing with one another. But there's one more sound that I want to introduce, 
and that's uh, a synth sound. And let me see if I can find that. Um, Oh, I remember. It's not the sampler. It's the physical model synth, modeling synth. Here we go. And we have a warped sculpture called Cosmonaut Space Capsule. I love this one. And it has such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful harmonics. All right. So, uh, but again, everything we're playing is an, is, a, is an A. We're only doing A's. But that's not to say we can't modulate, not to say that we can't uh, bend. So let's. Oops, I'm recording over the wrong track. Okay. The philosophy of being punk, what's it, what's it about? So we're going against the old system, the system that we were born into and we're supposed to be born. But we don't believe the today's system, so we were going against it. physical model sense patch that I want to that I want to uh, to use to add another layer and it's another warp sculpture 
and it's this one. That'll be nice. All right, so we're gonna take this uh, this feedback and we're gonna pin that left and we're gonna take this one and we're gonna pin that one right and we're gonna do another track of that. The philosophy of being against the old system, the system that we are born into and we're supposed to be employed. But we don't believe that it's today's system, so we go down the road. about it but uh, I think the thing I liked the best was this um, so I'd like to make that rhythmic so we're gonna record it real quick Oops, I 
got caught. All right, let's do some processing here. Space designer. Okay, now we're going to turn into a rhythmic component by spacing it. By dropping it in and repeating it. And we'll do that. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Okay. And it's four. Just gonna keep pasting these in. Okay, let's hear it. The philosophy of being comfortable. You are very against the old system, the system that we were born into and we're supposed to be born. But we don't agree with today's system, so we are very against it. Thank you. 
tweaking the sound here. Okay, turn the automation off. Let's see what that sounds like. Radio, 
because we have space whales. That's what this patch is. Are you into violence? Thank you. 
didn't intend for that to happen, but uh, I think it's okay. And the last thing I wanted uh, was a bass. And we're going to go with a sample of an acoustic bass. And uh, that's nice. No, nope. that's one we want. All right, let's do stuff. The philosophy of being punk. What's it like? against the old system. The system that we are born into and we're supposed to be employed. We don't believe that it's today's system, so we go down the you believe that it is soup. I want to uh, we're gonna quantize this to quarter notes to make sure we're all nice and tight there and we're gonna do a little bit of reduction on this uh, on the base. So let's grab the philosophy of being
to put some EQ on here. Doing some live automation there um, to uh, to make the bass sound start out lower. The philosophy of being humble. Get louder as it goes on, which I kind of like. Um, and the other thing I wanted to do is uh, pan the Evo guitar in a couple of places and. I'm going to do something here because this is kind of lost in the, lost in the background. Thank <laughs> you. 
thing I'm doing now is uh, the uh, the start needs or when I was recording it uh, is not synchronized to the clock on the computer to the beep. In other words, so what I'm doing now is imposing um, that beat on it. together. The philosophy of being comes up to the earth. The rebellion against the old system, the system that we are born into and we are supposed to be born into. We don't believe in today's system, so the rebellion is Y'all, I am very, very, very happy with that. And uh, 
I feel like um, it's a great place to stop. We've been here for a couple of hours. Um, I have uh, one little video to leave you with. Um, I'm gonna turn off the mic, put on a video, and talk to people in chat. Thank you so much if you're watching this as part of the Drone Day um, event. Thank you so much for coming, or if you're watching the recording, and uh, this was a lot of fun. I have a lot of a lot of fun playing with sound, and I like. Uh, I just love this kind of thing. I love the the freedom of the constraint of a single note and seeing uh, seeing what you can do with that. Um, constraints breed creativity, and um, I'm so glad that I uh, that I can do it here with y'all. Good night.